Hello mortals. The toilet, the shower, your bed at 3 a.m. the night before the exam, these are the places which spawn some of the weirdest questions and thoughts, to the extent of yourself thinking that if someone were to read your mind, you would be locked away in a lunatic asylum. So here's a video that will satisfy your inner desires for this forbidden knowledge. First of all, helium makes your voice pitch higher because it changes how fast the sound generated by the vocal cord vibrations travels through your voice box, which leads to a higher pitch. Now what about Uranus? If you somehow pumped some helium inside, and then made a frequency actuated rectal tremor, would that also sound high pitched? Compared to our voice, farts noises are created by the vibration of your, you know, asshole which is on the outside, compared to the vocal cords. So unless you've got vocal cords up your ass, your farts will sound normal. Also, upon researching I have found a video with experimental evidence on the topic. Link in the description. First of all such a quarantine would make the global economy crash harder than Bitcoin never did. Also that would be entirely useless, because viruses and bacteria can survive for centuries outside hosts. But even if everyone became super antisocial and isolated themselves for a few hundred years, it would still be in vain, because the influenza virus can also spread through other animals. Unless you aren't fluent in English, you shouldn't have noticed the second, the, right away. This happens because your eyes take in more words at the same time, and the brain doesn't analyze each word individually. So unless a word is new, or requires some mental work to process, your brain won't fully analyze it. There is also this phenomenon called attentional blink, where if the brain is presented with several successive identical stimuli, your brain will perceive them as a whole. What if you suddenly have a burning wish of watching a meme compilation on a very very big screen? What does the law have to say regarding projections on buildings? Is it considered vandalism? By definition, vandalism is an action involving deliberate destruction of, or damage to public or private property. A projection is just a bunch of photons thrown at a wall, it's neither destruction nor damage. On the other hand, Graffiti is writing or drawings on a wall or other surface in a public place. But once again, light is projected, it doesn't really stick to walls, so it's also not considered graffiti. The law doesn't really say anything relating to this, so as long as your projections are not obscene or offensive, go ahead. Not very sure about a dick butt though. On a very unrelated note, does anyone know where Morgan Freeman lives? But in all seriousness, that's probably not going to work. The most defining traits of your voice are created by the way your throat muscles work. The shape of your sinuses is also very important. I'm not even speaking about the way you are used to pronounce things. There is even a good chance that after the transplant you'll still sound like yourself. Test. Test. Yep, doesn't work. Yes. If you actually manage to do that, I am sure Elon would start to worship you. But say he hid a dead body in this space costume, and he doesn't want anyone to find out. Can he legally stop you from taking his car? You could try and argue that the car was abandoned, and thus the car isn't really his anymore. By the law, you can repossess anything that is abandoned. But Earth law doesn't really apply to space. Oh, what is this? Here's the answer folks, let the race begin. <laughs>